What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and fellow YouTubers? All of you have been very welcome on this uh, featured episode playthrough. The one that we are going to do today in this video is going to go beyond the Nexus. And I'm really, really, really excited about this uh, episode because it's going to feature uh, Jordi LaForge. Um, you guys probably know who that guy is. <laughs> um, I have not played this episode or have any expectations to what this episode is going to be entitled in, like in the story arc or anything like that. I have no idea. To my surprise, actually, Cryptic has updated their services today their server and I patched about 600 megabits or something like that uh, for this new featured episode so really excited and let's get into that because I can't wait anymore here we go uh, featured episode beyond the nexus can be obtained right there let me just close that one featured episode the alliance has, uh, has sent you to aid the legendary starfleet captain Jordi LaForge in investigating the nexus Okay, this sounds really promising. No idea what this Nexus is. Um, so I'm actually going without any expectation. I'm just going to let uh, the, 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 this episode blow my uh, expectations away. Because <laughs> I know how these featured episodes can get. Uh, a stellar phenomenon that visits this part of the galaxy once, only once every 39.1 years. Hmm, okay. Remember to replay this mission next week for another exclusive reward. Okay, so they're actually telling us that there is going to be some kind of like maybe space set or ground set. Uh, these exclusive rewards that they're talking about. Like they have already um, uh, have this done or at least they have done this in the past as well. Uh, where they actually give us uh, like different rewards every week that we play this thing. Um, so I'm guessing like maybe three word, uh, three different rewards that might be uh, uh, like a, a set piece. Uh, could be space, could be uh, ground. We are going to find out right now. Oh, okay. Uh, beyond the Nexus. We recently received a distress signal from the USS Forrestal, a ship we thought was lost in the Nexus back in 2332. We sent the USS Madison out to investigate, but they haven't checked in for some time. Considering the Nexus is involved, they could be in trouble. The Madison's last known position was in the Rotenev system. Meet with the USS Challenger there to investigate the situation. Her captain has some experience with the Nexus. Is the Nexus... Um, I'm actually... Um, if memory serves right, there was a movie beyond uh, talking about the Nexus. Are these guys talking about the same phenomenon? Um, where they, um, okay, so we, whoa, wait a minute, what is this? We're getting at a universal, no, a engineering console, reinforced armaments, gonna give us power transfer rate, 53.3%, wow, that's, that's a lot, wow, all right, um, starship hull restoration, starship hull capacity, and this is also based on a set. What is this? High density beam rifle type 3, 24th century. A minus 50% run speed, 20% critical. Okay. This is interesting. 5% chance to stun for 5 second half duration versus players with a secondary. Okay. Um, okay. This rifle is interesting to say the least. Um, uh, getting back to this Nexus, is this the one from um, where they uh, traveled back in, in you, know, you can actually travel or uh, travel back in, in the Nexus, where Captain Picard actually met uh, James T. Kirk? Is that is that the reference of the Nexus? We will definitely find out. Uh, there is also a different, uh, okay, so this is a trilithium, tricobalt torpedo launcher, a TTTL. <laughs> Nice. Okay, what does this do? A destructible projectile, a high area of effect damage plus disable, launches a uh, trilithium tricobalt device, one kilometer radius explosion to the target, dealing kinetic damage as torpedoes flies, increases as the torpedo flies. Uh, okay. So I'm just 
surmising right here. So if you fire this thing at a long range, it's going to increase the damage to this torpedo. Okay. Uh, radiation damage, disable, repel, 60% critical severity at base level. Wow, that's that's a lot. And this is also part of his space set. Nice. All right. And available at September 26, a trilithium enhanced omnidirectional phaser beam array with modifiers accuracy arc. Wow. So it has an increase in arc and damage. Wait a minute, it's already a 360 degree targeting arc. Why does it have an arc modifier? It's already on omnial, di omnial directional, so it already has a 360 degree. This arc modifier does not make sense to me. Uh, okay. So 2.5% to gain 10% firing cycle haste from energy weapons for 15 seconds. Also accuracy, yada yada. That's just basic stuff. A trilithium enhanced phaser turret. Okay. Wow. Um, no modifiers at all. Okay, that's that's weird. Uh, to target phaser damage, eight weapon damage, two point five gain ten percent hiring guys, six percent critical chance. Nice. I can't wait what the set bonus is going is going to be. Um, if you have like more than two, you're going to get speed tweak, and you have if you, if you have all three pieces, you're going to get reinforced engineering, or reinforced engineering. Wow. I do hope that they're going to be a reference to the uh, Nexus when I'm actually talking about. You're also going to get a featured episode, the weekly reward. These are specialization points that you can use on your account so you can use them on all of your account uh, all of your characters on the same account um, you can also uh, put this one in your bank and grab it on another character if you have unlocked all of the uh, all of your uh, specialization points like i have but anyway let's continue this thing uh, where do we need to go to the road to in that system um, there are two ways. Let me just give you guys a little bit of a tip right here. Uh, with these featured episodes, you can basically transwarp there. It's going to cost you 35,000 EC. And if you're running low, you can just basically come up here and use this uh, transwarp right here. And it's not going to cost you any EC at all. So that's going to be very convenient for people that don't have enough EC to uh, go and play these featured episodes definitely i'm pumped i'm the <laughs> man all right here we go beyond the nexus this is this is actually a catching uh title for this episode another loading screen here we go okay here goes here goes beyond the nexus good to see you again Looks like the two missing ships are here, although they're both in a disabled state. Neither of them have responded to our hails. Continue. That's entirely possible. Even minimal exposure to the Nexus can be pretty disruptive to ship systems. I think we should take a closer look. Things could be worse than our initial scans have indicated. Wait a minute, did I miss something? Was there like... Uh, NBC. Good to see you, two missing ships out there. He just, I think he just skipped a, uh, a, um, I think it just skipped a, a, like, uh, what's it called it? A, uh, a, uh, a log file or not a log file, a, uh, a reading part. Anyway, let's get closer and scan them. A uh, dialogue. Yeah, that was, that was the word that I was trying to say. A dialogue. Okay, here we go. Let's get close to these guys. Answer hail from USS Madison. Apologies. This ship's taken some damage here. Short range comms are barely working, and we're experiencing widespread systems failure on all decks. Our Nexus defense screens overloaded, and we were exposed to a full blast. We're lucky to be here. We could use your help. We're on our way. Admiral, the challenger is hailing us on screen. Something's not right here. 
I worked on the Nexus Defense Screens project, and a catastrophic failure like that seems unlikely. In an overload situation like she described, the ship wouldn't be disabled. It'd be destroyed. Ooh. Let's get a short range scan. Alright. Nice, look at this. Awesome looking ship. Jordy's ship. Jordy's captain on that ship. <laughs> awesome. Alright, let's scan the Madison. I'm picking up so I'm picking up some uh, Nexus radiation and signs of minor combat damage to on both ships. But nothing close that the captain of the medicine was claiming. Admiral of the medicine and raised shield, they're, power they're powering up their phasers. Red alert, Lord hands on battle stations. Cutscene, wow. Whoa! Whatever they fired just disrupted Warning. most of our systems. We're sitting ducks over here. Really? Whoa, look at that. That's awesome. Alright, let's see if we can disable these guys. Now, for those that are um, wondering, I'm actually using lots of science abilities to kick these guys' We're still ass. trying to figure out what they hit us with over here. Whatever it was, it knocked most of our systems out. We're running on emergency power. I think we'd better get over there and find out what's going on while we still have a functioning ship between us. Meet me at these coordinates on deck 10. Nice, Jordy LaFord. A little bit of a voiceover from this guy. Oh, I love that. All right, let's beam over. Uh, with Lita. Lita is a bridge officer of mine that I have. And um, she is very hot. Looks like someone activated the security system on this deck. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about that system. <laughs> the console here is offline, but there should be a functional one nearby in a holodeck. From there, we can access the system and shut the fields down. Nice. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> Just a little bit of a A-team reference. Wow, this thing is awesome. Look at that. You guys might uh, understand that this surroundings is like from the... Uh, the uh, enterprise where Jordy used to uh, work or be part of. Wow, look at that force field up. Hey, Lita, where are you going? Nice. We can go here, turbo lift? No. This holodeck's damaged. Let's try the next one. This one is damaged, okay. Nice. All right, there's an entry. I think we need to go there, but I'm just going to go a little bit of a. Uh... Oh, we can't. All right, fine, fine. <laughs> I wanted to do a little bit of a tour of the Enterprise. All right, let's get in here. All right, let's get to work. With luck, we should be able to bypass the system and drop those... Wait. What's wrong, Captain? Someone's loading up a holodeck program in here, and I've got a feeling it's not for R&R. &R. Ready weapons. Whoa, what happened? Activating program Barkley, 42 Epsilon. Safety protocols are disengaged. Barkley, huh? Please help us. The Borg are everywhere. Ooh, the Borg. The Borg, you say? The program's live. We'll have to survive the battle to leave. Nice. Last wave. Unless they change the program. Last wave, really? Oh, man. That's it. I wish we had a little bit more. Oh, thank you. If there's anything I can do to repay you, anything at all. Oh my god, seriously. <laughs> um, computer post program. <laughs> That's definitely a Reg Barkley program. Nice. Let's get back to business. We'd better bypass security before they send more sparring partners to deal with. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Let's use the holographic arc console. Okay, a reference to this thing right here. Uh, isn't that supposed to be on this side? I guess we can actually use it on this side as well. All right, override the security system. 
Whoa, what the hell is this? Uh, okay, that one. Okay, so they changed this uh, mini game, or at least the background of this thing. Awesome. Thank you for that, Cryptic. This is definitely awesome. We scored 100 points in the bypass has been completed. Okay. Now what? That did it. Security systems are down on this deck and they won't be putting us into another holodeck scenario anytime soon. Excellent. Woo. This is Commander Tabai. Please respond. I repeat, if you can hear this, come to 10 forward at once. There's There's static. Well, we're barely hearing you here. Our defenses just dropped. We require your assistance. They are closing on us. Hurry. It won't be long before they attack. Who's going to attack? Someone's jamming that signal. We'd better get to 10 forward. Nice. Agreed. All right, let's get to 10 forward. Open this holodeck. Okay, this should be... Yep. Whoa. A uh, little bit of a glitch issue here, uh, Cryptic. A little bit of a visual. Now, guys, the ones um, that are actually familiar, if my character stands still, he's going to get like a greenish aura around him. Uh, that is just part of my buff. Like there, you just saw that one. Um, now, I need to go to 10 forward. It should be right there, but I'm just exploring a little bit. See how far I can go. Uh, that basically gives, uh, takes me back to where I was. Can this, okay, this can open up. Nice. Who is this? If this is Kess, then you are definitely in the wrong, uh, it kind of looks like her though. If this is Kess, this is definitely, uh, she kind of looks like a non-compa. Then you're definitely in the wrong, uh, uh ship. Who is this guy? What are you scanning at? Okay, speak to Commander Tefei. Tefei? Alright. Thank you for coming. The Madison has been taken over by hostile forces, and we are in dire need of assistance. What happened here? We responded to a distress call from USS Forrestal. Long thought lost to the Nexus. As we close to assist, the Madison was struck by a potent beam of psionic energy. Psionic. It disabled the ship and left us vulnerable to attack. Mind-controlled members of the Forrestal's crew then beamed over and took control of this vessel. We few are all that remain free. Who or what is behind this? An alien of tremendous psionic ability, formerly trapped within the Nexus. We believe it lured the Forrestal there in an escape attempt, which failed. Somehow, it was able to break free when the Nexus recently returned. Though powerful, there are limits to the alien's ability. The combat with your ship has weakened it considerably. Now is the time to strike. The controlled crew are bound to attack again soon. Alright, set your weapons to stun if they do. Set weapons to stun if they do? Alright. Picking up transporter signals, multiple contacts. Really? Whoa, we got Endorians right there. Old Enterprise uh, era crew. Enemy contacts inbound. Again? All right. Let's deal with them as well. Nice. More? No, that's it. I think we need to talk again. Talk to Captain LaForge. Oh, here we go. LaForge, tell me what's wrong. Looks like we bought ourselves a little time. We should discuss our next move soon. You might talk with some of the survivors here for more information as well. Your call. Thank you. Let's talk with a couple of survivors. What is this? Ensign Rana. Ensign Rana, engineering. Sorry for staring, Captain LaForge. Your work on transwarp theory was required reading at the Academy. I never thought I'd actually meet you. Wish it were under different circumstances. Report. Right. Well, they, they hit main engineering first. If you're going down there, be on your guard. Several of us tried to take it back a couple of days ago. They beamed in and took us by surprise. I was the only one to make it back here. 
Uh, don't let it wear you down. Oh, that's it. Okay. What about you? You seem like tactical. Ensign Saitel, security. Nice. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Our numbers have dwindled considerably since the enemy's initial assault. Until your arrival, I calculated our odds of survival at 4,286 to 1. <laughs> How about now? Difficult to fully assess at this juncture. However, I am willing to state that our odds have improved considerably. If all of you were psionics, our odds would be even better. The alien is quite ineffective against those with mental abilities. Nice. I see. Carry on. Uh, what else we got? Bartender? Yep. Bartender Tam. Oh, am I glad to see you. Things were looking more than a little ugly until you got here. I'd pour you a drink, but all of the replicators went offline an hour ago. How are you holding up? As good as can be, under the circumstances. Still amazed we haven't been, um, dominated by that alien. The commander thinks it's because we all come from a species with psionic abilities. As good a reason as any, I suppose. That's a sensitive theory, to say the least. What else we got? Um, speak to LaForge again. I have a feeling these attacks will intensify as the alien gains strength. If we're going to do something to save this ship, we'll need to do it fast. Let's get down to main engineering. I think we can get a better grip on the security system there and use it to incapacitate both the hostile crew and the alien. Nice. Agreed. Take these psionic inhibitors with you. Hmm? We hope to use them on some of our dominated crewmates prior to your arrival. But I suspect they will serve you better at this time. They should protect you. If the alien attempts to take control of your mind. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Commander. Where are these? Where are these? Where are these things that I need to get? Is it this thing? Take item? No. I got nothing in my inventory. What, what are these things that you need to give me? Maybe we'll find them on the way... Two there, I get, I guess. Psionic inhibitors, huh? By the way, also got. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we're going to transport there, right? Okay. By the way, guys, my character is a little bit overpowered. You guys know that. I don't have to tell you that. So you guys might have a totally different uh, experience with um, these ground uh, combat. And also my space might be different for you guys as well. Might be a little bit tougher. Just saying. All right. We got a couple of, whoa, aliens right there. Come here, peeps. Grenade out. Oh, you you are so dead. You guys are so dead. Watch it. They're beaming in reinforcements. Where? Oh, on the engine. Wow, look at that. Oh, that's awesome. We got the warp core, Jordi LaForge's uh, working space area right here. Nice. Heads up, more hostiles income. Oh, that's nice. Oh, wait a minute, they're behind us now. That's it. Talk to LaForge, okay. Wow, look at this. I love it. The iconic uh, warp core. We've got a couple of problems here. Main power's offline, and there's a lot of Nexus radiation getting past the screens. I'll handle the power situation while you deal with the radiation. Once that's done, we can bring the security systems back online. Oh shit, I have to do something. Uh, okay, understood. What do I do? I go over here, okay. Recalibrate screens. All right, let me recalibrate screens. Oh shit! Uh, mini game again. Now it is best to do these mini games uh, with the um, up and down arrow on your keyboard rather than this this small interface right here. Now I really don't know how you guys uh, with the console players are actually going to do these. 
Nice work. Radiation levels are back in the safe zone, and I've managed to prime the warp core. Give me a hand with it, and we can restore main power. Okay. One hand for you. Red, right here somewhere. Where's Jordy? Jordy, where are you? Oh, he's right here. Jordy. Come on, Jordy. Right here. Here's the warp core. You should know where it is. Restore the warp core. That did it. Main power's back online. And warp core is stable. I've activated most of the security systems, but it looks like the bridge is still under enemy control. It's a good bet that's where the alien is. All right. Let's retake the bridge. Oh, this is awesome. So we are also going to go to the bridge. Jordy, can you make me a really good screenshot for the for this thumbnail? Ah, I'll do it next time. Uh, oh, wrong way. Turbo lift. Go to the bridge. Ah, oh, this is so awesome. A trip down to memory lane. This ship and all upon it belong to Cosmur. Starfleet disagrees with you on that. No words see nothing. Kill them. Kill them now. Who the hell are these guys? Kaj Bull? We are here to assist you. I don't need your assistance. Especially not in ground. Look at how much damage that was. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that guys. Um my character for alien on sensors. It's back on the forestall. This isn't over yet. Yeah, I was saying my character for ground is so much overpowered. Challenger might be able to fight, but most of this ship's crew is unconscious. Beam back to your ship and deal with the Forestall. I'll do what I can here to get the shields up and keep the Madison in one piece. Nice! Alright, not yet. Man, this is awesome. Where are you, Jordy? Come here. Jordy, I want a really good screenshot. Come on with my character oh, that's not oh wait a minute no no I can't do it right now okay uh speak and beam I'm reading the alien on set the challenger might be beam over okay so this is gonna be space combat I'm guessing wow this this bridge is awesome the engineering deck was awesome wow Admiral being hailed by the forest I think is the alien on screen Okay, that's really cryptic. Uh, stand down and the, f and the fight's over. Once I was imprisoned within the Nexus, cast away for defying those who called themselves my rulers. And now a new jailer comes, demanding submission. Release the, sh the ship and her crew. Tactical, unfortunately, tactical fire to disable. All right. Challenger stands ready to assist you. Really? Warning. Ship is under attack. All right. Nice. Oh, tractor beam. Oh, shields are gone. I like this mission already. This thing is awesome. I hope we're gonna see more of Jordi LaForge. Hail. Alright, enter hail. No, I'll take you uh, into custody alive. You made the right choice. 
Uh, we're being held by the medicine. Put them on screen. Nicely done. I was able to get a call into Starfleet, and we should have backup here soon. In the meantime, I'll keep working with the crews of the disabled ships. We'll have them up and running again in no time. Nice. Glad to hear it. You're welcome. Once we're done here, we'll go back to working with the Lucari on a big project. Huh? I've enjoyed seeing their protomatter technology firsthand. Hopefully, we won't run into any Zenkethi trouble while we're out there. I'd rather not see their protomatter weapon in action if I can avoid it. What? All right, this is a hint on a next episode, I'm guessing, right here. Um, back into working with the Lucario on a big project. Hmm, what could that be? Wow, I love the LaForge uh, character. Likewise, safe travels, Captain. All right, I guess Beyond the Nexus has been completed. Nice. Um, all right, depart system. We are done here. Okay, that's awesome. This this featured episode is really awesome. Man, I love these uh, um, next generation uh, crew members. I hope they're gonna bring more and more of these uh, these guys up here, so we can actually play with them. <laughs> oh, that's awesome! Come on, load already. Lots of people doing the same mission, I guess. Here we go. All right, beyond the Nexus, let's see. Hmm. Interesting report. This alien was trapped for eons in the Nexus and wanted to leave? As I understand it, the Nexus is a paradise. Apparently, there's at least one life form out there who disagrees. Fortunately, you saved a lot of lives and three Starfleet vessels. Captain LaForge tells me they'll spend some time in space dock, but they'll be ready for duty again soon. And we can use all the ships we can get on the frontier these days. Well done. Nice. All right, I'm definitely going to replay the mission to get the high, uh, the, the next uh, reward, this high density beam. For, but for right now, I'm just going to get this reinforced uh, armament thingy. Collect. Also, a featured episode reward. It's going to go really cool with um my other characters that i'm leveling but let's see the sets of this thing uh so this thing um not um upgraded at all base level 53.3 percent in power transfer rate that's i think that's high they might actually nerf this a little bit uh whole restoration whole capacity for engineering, that's that's basic standard stuff. Uh, so uh, two pieces of this space set is going to give you spe uh, speed tweaks, plus five percent firing cycle haste for energy weapons. Wow, that's awesome! And also flight speed. Wow. And the third piece of this is going to be reinforced engineering, plus twenty all damage resistance rating, and whole capacity. Wow. So. It is definitely living up to their name. Uh, resistance and capacity. Wow. So you can definitely be more tanky, um, more DPS, and also more DPS on this thing as well. And also hold in, uh, capacity and restoration. Wow. These items are definitely going to be OP, I guess, in survivability and as well as... Uh, for DPS wide so definitely I, re I would recommend all of you to um, replay this featured episode on the next uh, the next we time recently received a distress signal and that's gonna USS be Forrest where is it gonna be 19 and 26 of September to get all of the pieces that you want Wow, I really love that. I hope they're gonna do with this with uh, more of the original, uh, not the original, the, the next generation uh, crew members, because that is just tripping down the memory lane. <laughs> That's just awesome. Anyway, guys, I hope you had a little bit of fun, and all to all of those console players, you guys had just seen the playthrough um, that you guys also might have, but just in a later date of this mission uh what was it called again into the nexus if i'm escaping uh, beyond the nexus sorry 
beyond the nexus anyway take care and uh, later